What is up, Madden NFL 25 Gamers? Today's video, we're going to focus on the Sim Tip of the Week. We use the Sim Tip of the Week every week. Uh, break down a tip that's related to the real NFL. Um, and so far, the last couple of weeks, we've been focusing on the Peyton Manning offense. In today's video, we are going to break down uh, one of Peyton Manning's favorite third down. Um, and it might uh, usually third and 14, third and long type calls. Uh, that he likes to use to get the first down and keep the chains moving. And the concept that is called um, basically the all curl. And what the all curl is, is, is fake all curl. Uh, I know it's pretty complicated ter terminology for you guys, but that's basically what it is. And typically it's done out of a shotgun, uh, doubles or dice slot, the base set of the Colts. And uh, probably don't actually have it here um, because they probably don't actually have it in Denver's playbook because a lot of times just... Uh, this game does not always put it in there for us. Um, so we're going to use this play deep in, uh, and we're just going to create the play. Uh, and, and defensively, we'll come out in a nickel, and we'll just we'll just come out in a cover four. We'll show you it against all coverages. And uh, I want to read you a little excerpt from the guide, uh, or from the, f the article. It says, the all-curl concept where the outside receivers run 12-yard curl routes, an inside receiver runs a 10-yard curl over the middle while the two other receivers check release to the flat. One of the oldest passing concepts in football goes back to Sid Gilman. This play is a horizontal stretch, which is a lot of, and, and real quick guys, that's a lot of what Peyton Manning does, a horizontal stretch of the defense. You know, five receivers, you choose one of the curls in the zone, they're going to sit down, um, Four defenders cannot fend five trash cans. Space uh, space properly uh, said by Homer Smith, one of, you know an old football mind. So uh, definitely check this out. Uh, hopefully, guys, uh, this is a concept, and uh, maybe you'll be able to use it. So what we like to do with this is we like to put. Uh, obviously, we're going to put Wes Welker on a curl. We're going to put Demarius Thomas on a curl. We're going to put Eric Decker on a flat, and we're going to leave Moreno on that uh, block and release pattern. We're going to put him on that. First read on this is the curl to Thomas because it's a little shorter. Um, and here you'll see it'll just sit down in the zone. The idea here is, uh, you know, you pass that, you got to pass lead that down, uh, of course, so that it beats the zone, uh, so that it beats the zone. Uh, sometimes I like to use drags or ends, but the curl works fine, too. Um, just saying, you know, there's more options. You know, this is a concept. It's a horizontal stretch, and it can be applied to many different route combinations. But I like to pass lead that curl down. I like to pass lead most of my curls down, actually. Now, I guess to cover three in a situation where you give me third and long, whatever, with this concept, um, a lot of times Thomas will, will, will just sit right in those hook zones. But you have to pass lead it down properly, otherwise it's going to get batted down. The two times I haven't passed lead down, you saw um, me get batted. So here we'll look at cover three again. Um, normally, Thomas will be open. Now, a lot of times they'll start usering that. Uh, once they start usering him, it's going to open up everybody else. So imagine that Thomas uh, is usered in this uh, situation, cover three. You're going to have both curl routes open uh, for a nice little completion there uh, to the outside. And basically they're running curl flat concepts uh, to the outside with the guys on the outside here. And on the inside they're running uh, you know, a little hitch route underneath. Now two man under, uh, you know, this is a potential defense for this. But again, you have that route to Thomas to check down to you, that little underneath curl very effective. Now, what I like to do with this is curls are very effective, but also out routes are very effective. So I'll put them on out routes just because it's more effective. But you could do whatever you want. Also, you could potentially put them on, um, put them on uh, comebacks. But I like curls, out routes, all beats man. Um, but it all uses the same idea of a, a horizontal stretch uh, with this passing concept. We'll take a look at cover two sink real quick, uh, or excuse me, cover two. And against this, you'll have that guy sitting in the flat again, and then it's a quick 10 yards to Julius Thomas. Unfortunately, he got hit stick and literally got like killed on across the middle. But the idea is still there. Uh, real quick, we'll take a look at a cover uh, zero pressure play. I'm trying to gash you up on third and long. You got your block and release pattern, so you have plenty of time in the pocket. Easily deliver the ball to Demarius Thomas on the outside of that quick curl route. Curl routes are very underestimated in this game. Uh, I honestly will be very honest and say I do not throw them enough. Uh, so. And then uh, let's take a look at a cover two sink look. When it gets cover two sink, uh, you know, you're going to have that underneath is going to be flux, so you're going to check down to know John Marino. Like, all curl is not great against cover two sink because cover two sink is a defense that spans, uh, especially out of 335, it spans um, five hook zones over the field. And if you think about it, you have five receivers, they're all attacking that area outside of the flats, you know. So it's a very difficult, you know, but you still have that window to get the ball to the Mary's Thomas quick. Um, the idea here is, again, just trying to horizontally stretch them. You don't want to call this play every time on third down, 
but once in a while, it's not, you know, it, it's, it, it'll be successful for you. Now, what if they go cover three? Uh, you say they go cover three, Cody, and what they're going to do is they're going to put purples in because that's what every cover three does in this game. Well, that's fine. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to check down to your flats um, and, and, and take some quick yards out of, out of the out the flats. Now, what I like to do, what I've been doing uh, recently, is I've been motion snapping my flat routes because motion snap flats, r flat routes are a little bit more effective. They get a little bit better separation overall. Uh, just from experience, uh, that's something that I like to do. Now, that may, may, may not be you know super sim to some of you guys, but again, it's to make the play more effective in game for what it should be. Uh, so I like to motion snap Eric Decker two steps in the inside here. If they do, if they go deep, then I'll just dump off to him, and he's in motion, so he's going to have a nice little cut up field. If they do go with him, so say a traditional cover three, then obviously I'm going to check down into my uh, curl to flat concept. Here they go with him, so I'm going to check down to my curl route. And it's just that kind of a pretty simple little thing there. So definitely check this play out, guys. The all curl concept, very good for those third down situations. Let me know what you guys think. And also let me know, guys, if this series is something you want to see continue. I have a couple more plays to break down out of this. Then we'll get back to some standard Sim Tip of the Week stuff. Thanks for watching this week. Give me some feedback. Let me know what you guys think about it. See you guys next week.